So here's my tutorial for the basic Cardini color change. Let me show you what it looks like. Now let's get into the tutorial. So what you want to start off doing is getting a break between the top two cards, just like this. But you want to hold it sort of a flesh break, not a full pinky break, just enough that you can get a, you know, a good grip under those cards. Now what you're going to be taking is called a double lift, and what I do is I put my two fingers on the side, my um, pointer, my index, and my middle finger. I put it in the corner, the corner opposite of your hand drag out as far as the deck length and flip it over. Now this is a good way to do a double lift because it's very hard to see um, in terms of, in terms of um, looking for the double lift. Um, but you want to do this before you start you know, showing it or taking the double lift. You want to get that break first. So what you want to do is get that break. You can either use your ring or your pinky. I usually use my ring just because I get some extra space here, but it's best if you use your pinky. You want to get a flesh break. And what you want to do is get that double, okay, and you flip it over. Now at this point, what you want to do is you're in dealer's grip like this. You want to move your pointer finger to the other, to the opposite side of your thumb. Not where it usually is up top, but over to the side. And you want to apply pressure at the top corner, top left corner, with your um, thumb and you want to also apply a little bit of pressure with your pointer. These two fingers make no difference in the overall change at all. They can just rest on the side or they can rest on the deck. Now what you're basically doing is in the action of flicking, you're pulling down with your pinky like this. And with the hand covered up, it looks pretty good. So what you're going to be doing is pulling down with your pinky. Now here's the kind of the action. It, it's more or less an up, up down motion. It's not anything else um, too complicated. So you just want to get that flick. Right as you flick, pull down with your pinky, and you get into this position. Now they can't see it because the card is so it's so thin that with your hand over it, even with a really bad view, it's still pretty hard to see. And so you get the flick, you get the change. Now to get the cleanup, you want to lift the deck with your hand like this, you're in this position. You want to lift the deck up, keeping this card still at rest down there, and slowly drag it to the bottom, and in a squaring manner, rotate the cards. So we'll do it again. We'll take the double, okay? You perform the change. You want to lift up on the deck, and drag the bottom drag the card to the bottom and you can show that this card is one card and you are completely clean. Here's at a different angle your perspective. You want to get your break. Two fingers underneath, thumb on top. Flip over the double. As you can see it's a double. Get your hands in the right area. Don't. This is dealer's grip. This is the grip you want to be in. These three fingers play the role, these two have nothing to do with the trick at all. Now in the flick motion, you want to pull down with your pinky just like so. You should be in this sort of a position. Slight angle on the card, you don't want it completely parallel, because I don't think that's even possible. But you want to get the flick, and for the square up, with your whole hand covering, because you don't want them to see that card, except for the pointer, lift up the cards and put the card on the bottom, rest it in the square up man manner. So I'll do it one more time. Take the double, the change is made, and the card is dragged to the bottom, and the top card is clean. So that's the tutorial for the Cardini change. And thank you for watching and post comments and all that jazz.